Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. In the cafeteria with more vegan options, definitely. My name is Roxana Schoenbach and I'm a registered dietitian. I think that the colleges need to be cognizant of the fact that the availability of food, having that available at a lower price. My name is Megan Ware. I am a registered dietitian and I've been a registered dietitian since 2009. I've owned my own business since 2004. Being a college student, a lot of people are looking for the most bang for your buck. How much food can I get for my $4 that I can spend on lunch? So because there's those two factors that are at odds with one another, I want to eat healthy, but I also want to eat for cheap. And I think the more options that you have, the better off you're going to be. That being said, if it's a cafeteria with the same crappy options that are available at the drive-thru right down the street, it's not really serving its purpose. But if the purpose of the cafeteria is to provide students with healthful, natural, whole options, then great. I think because of your schedule, like when would you keep it open? You know, who's going to man it? What foods are you going to provide? So it's the economics and the logistics, I think, that need to be worked out. I'm not saying it can't be done, but it needs to be worked out so that you uh, cater to the whole student population. I believe the average college student's health is probably mediocre when it comes to nutrition. A lot of times they haven't had education in nutrition yet. It's the science that we, we think of when we talk about nutrition. But food is what we eat, and that's what we need to focus on. I do not believe that Pulseal has enough healthy food options. It's tough to find those types of food on campus because I'm trying to count my calories and I don't always know what is going into the food when I am um, ingesting it because the fact is if I made chicken at home, like I know how I prepared it and how I cooked it, but if I was to go to a restaurant or eat something from a facility here, I don't know what they did to make it. To address your school, that, that's not happening. But I know that there are schools all over the country that are catering to gluten-free, vegan, and they're doing a very, very good job of it. And, um, you know, providing as much as possible organic foods and things that are not harmful. We have Taco Bell or we have fast food places. They have salads, but they're not really good. And um, they only have one or two options, which is not enough. As far as campus, there really isn't a whole lot at all. If you go to like Crispers and order a salad, and you get the meat out of it and the cheese out of it, you're still paying like ten dollars for a salad. If I had the power to like change anything here at Full Sail for like the food options, I definitely get rid of McDonald's and like replace something much healthier. It's gonna make it a lot easier, and I think that it would be a great choice for Full Sail to do that. The main challenge for any cafeteria, whether it's in a, in a middle school, in a high school, or in a college, is providing helpful options on the cheap. Because if you're a chef and or you're a food service manager, your main goal is to provide as much food as possible for as cheap as possible. Because I know when I first moved here, your campus was tiny, you don't know that, but it was just one little piece and now you've taken over this whole area. So if you had little pods in different parts of the campus so that kids would have access to, you know, maybe the vending machines put in there and maybe have, you know, availability of um, buying things from the vending machine and sitting down and eating. Well, she always tells us, go meet people, but having a cafeteria wouldn't only uh, be a good option for healthy eating, it would bring people together. So I have no idea why why they didn't come up with this idea before. There's a lot of space on campus to, to incorporate a lot of that. We could have juice bars, salad bars, and um, in that case, we could just go there in, in the class breaks and pick um, healthy food options. Just um, so for the, the tree house, for example, they have, I was told it used to be a juice bar. I'm not sure if that's 100% sure. Um, that little area right there can be definitely turned in for events um, into something that has options for everybody or even building three, that little patio area. Um, there's, there's a lot of space on campus to, to incorporate a lot of that. Put a little bit of effort into this 
my energy levels go up, my brain functions better, I feel better mood and confident wise. Be the people who make the change for themselves rather than, you know, continuing with habits. We need to have the intention to change and the intention to improve health, which I think is the first step.